tracking a bitterly cold start to the weekend won't remain that case for long though if temperatures aren't already above freezing by mid morning we will certainly reach above those low 30s here this afternoon. I'm tracking gorgeous conditions through the afternoons this weekend but that is ahead of rain later uh, by the early parts of the work week so you want to uh, get out and enjoy that before uh, we even see that wet pattern settling in for most of next week into next weekend. Still uh, for today and tomorrow I'm tracking those rapidly recovering temperatures here. We're starting out uh, well below freezing in the morning likely though above that uh, freezing mark just before noon and still even uh, making a run for those mid to upper 40s today. You'll see our feels like liking just a bit behind our winds have relaxed for the early morning today. That is expected to uh, pick back up out of the south, uh, just keeping us a few degrees cooler, though uh, we are feeling much better than we have uh, before and our last system for Friday and uh, you'll still see more warming conditions into the end of the weekend tomorrow with more clouds. We're still making it further above average at this point, almost 20 to 30 degrees warmer than we need to be for this time of year uh, ahead of our next chance for rain again. Uh, want to head out for as much as you can this weekend. Those uh, earliest rain chances could arrive by the dinner hour for Sunday. Uh, still generally seeing the uh, more meaningful rain past midnight into very early Monday morning with uh, even a few rumbles of thunder possible here by the morning commute. But overall, uh, tracking just fairly light rain here uh, to kick off the work weekend in Missouri. This is future track by the end of the weekend. Not really much to track here uh, for Saturday and even most of Sunday. I'm expecting will be dry through dinner time as this uh, model is not really showing light rain until likely past or well past sundown into the overnight hours. This is past midnight, very early Monday, where we'll see more meaningful rain beginning to build. And even I mentioned some stray rumbles of thunder that's generally going to be confined to northeastern Missouri as uh, you'll have some marginally higher instability, which could bring uh, some heavier downpours and just some rumbles of thunder at worst that I'll expect with that system. Uh, behind that, temperatures even continue to warm. We could make the 60s here as even clouds pulling out quickly by late Monday. That uh, is about the last, though, of our warming conditions. When we reach our peak in those 60s, uh, again, quickly Monday afternoon, dipping back slowly through those 40s, uh, still generally above average for Tuesday and Wednesday. But with those sinking temperatures, we'll have to watch this next system here uh, some part, around sometime uh, midweek here. It looks like we'll catch some initial stray showers early Wednesday, but as the system continues to move through the Midwest, you'll notice another round possible uh, by Thursday there, and that's what we'll have to see with uh, again, those uh, dropping temperatures, if we could run into any wintry impacts, that snow line is still north of the area with our uh, some of our newest forecast models. Uh, we do have lots of those to look at, though, and just a handful of them want to bring that snow line a bit further south of Timon, Missouri. So we'll have to watch how that will play out. We'll get better clarity on that, certainly in coming days. But looking to clear out briefly again for the later parts of the week before another system possibly uh, by next weekend as well. But this first one not really expected to bring much to the area. Again, some rumbles of thunder but less than really a half inch of rainfall there uh, through Monday. We do have that next one midweek there. That adds another about half inch of rainfall on top of that and possibly dusting of snow there if we do see, again, some of those models trying to push uh, those colder temperatures into mid-Missouri if that does play out. I'm still not expecting really meaningful accumulations there, uh, even just a low chance for that dusting so far, but definitely want to stay weather aware there with multiple systems to track. It does look like a very spring-like seven-day there with the 60s, uh, generally the 40s the rest of the week, so we want to head out uh, certainly this weekend with those warming conditions while we're staying dry and enjoy all that sunshine.